So for some of you out there, maybe you're a smaller person, you don't have a lot of muscles, and that's why you became a dentist. So <laughs> I can relate. Now, luckily, I'm a taller person, so uh, I can use the length of my long levers to help me get teeth out. But maybe you're a, sh a shorter person, smaller person. Technique becomes very important, as it is for all of us, but maybe more so for you when you're taking teeth out. So one thing about forceps is there's kind of two ways to hold them. I'm going to show you something that might give you a little bit of an advantage when you're taking teeth out. So this here, we've got just our standard universal lower forcep. Let's say that we're going to take out this lower right second premolar. Now, you can hold this so that you're kind of on this underhand grasp, okay, and you're pinching next to that tooth and supporting the jaw, your assistant supporting the jaw, have a bite block in. You're going to be applying your pressures to this tooth, right, and you want your arm tight to your body so that you're getting good use out of your muscles and good control. Now, the way to kind of get more forces on this tooth would be to actually come from behind the patient in an underhand grasp of the forcep, so more like this. So you're going to get the forcep in place, and what you're going to do is you're then going to be able to squeeze, and you're going to be able to do the same thing. You can pinch, but you can generate way more force when you are underhand than you can if you are overhand. So the overhand grip, again, is, is a good one. It's good for controlled forces, but you're not going to be able to generate quite as much as if you grab it from underneath. Now, you need to be aware if you are using these forces, you need to be, again, more in control of the patient, so make sure that you have them really well supported. You need to be sure that you're applying them in a controlled, slow uh, manner so that you're not uh, breaking teeth. So sometimes you'll apply more force with this underhand grasp, and it's too much, and you end up snapping off the crown of the tooth. Uh, so make sure that you're getting the feel for it, but it might help you if you're holding it this way to start to get out some teeth that maybe you had troubles with previously. Mm -hmm.